All right, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. The Ender 5 Plus chain system is very popular. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make a video, a couple videos, one on the installation, one on how to print all this garbage. Okay, here's the first part. This is the bed bracket. So all my support settings here are going to be 6% density. The only thing that is gonna change is whether or not they're on the build plate or everywhere or uh, the angle. On some parts, the angle will save you some filament. All right, set this like this. We want support everywhere. 6% density, 85% angle. We wanna make sure this has a 1.6 wall and we can print it with 15% infill. So this is gonna be the other piece for the bed chain, this is the part that mounts to the frame. The other piece mounted to the bed. Um, you're gonna print this upright and you don't need any support. This is another part that can be printed at 1.6 wall and 15% infill. Okay, we're gonna move on to the beds. There's a little bit of confusing on the bed, confusion on the beds because you have an option. So this is the bed that has the built-in switch cover. Depending on what other kind of mods you have, there's been problems with this fitting. Certain, most of them are third-party mods, not mods of mine. Um, if you don't have any other mods, this is a good cover. If you do have mods, we have a universal switch cover right here that allows for some mods. So it's basically this cover or the other one. Now those two covers pair with this one, which is labeled bed one. I'm gonna probably change the names on these when I get an opportunity. So this is the other bed. These two beds that I just showed, or three beds I just showed are for the X-Rail. You're gonna to wanna to print this solid and you're gonna to wanna to have support everywhere. 6% density. 85% angle will be fine. So this is the axis cover. This is probably one of the toughest prints of anything that I make as far as to get it to come out pretty. Um, you're gonna wanna print this at 100% infill. Um, you're gonna wanna print this slow probably, um, 35 millimeters a second. I think the best way is probably gonna to be to print it like this with support on the build plate believe pretty nice and slow you'll have no problem bridging this right here um, but you're gonna want to print real slow so your columns are nice and round all this stuff is printed with a 0.4 nozzle so this is going to be the newer chain bracket we have for the hot end unless you have one of our other hot end brackets that do direct extrusion or linear or whatever so you don't want to print this hundred percent solid probably just because there's, you don't want it to be weak right here. Um, I just go ahead and print it 100% solid. You're gonna need support everywhere so that you get support between here and here. Um, on that support, same, 6% density and 85% infill, I mean 85% angle. This is the chain link. This is Johnny Whiskey's chain link. This is not my design. Um, I include it only for convenience. Um, probably technically I'm not supposed to. If there is ever a, pro ever a problem, you will need to download this separately. Um, I don't foresee one. I like to print this at 0.12. Most of the other stuff, you can decide whether you want to do 0.2 or 0.12. Obviously one takes longer, gives better results. A lot of this stuff, 0.2 looks fine. So you want to print these links 100% solid, slow. Got right here, 30 millimeters a second on this. Now you can print faster, depending on what machine you're on. Um, the slower you print these, the better they look. We have ones that, especially on the yellow ESUN PLA, you can't even see the layer lines in them. The key to printing these links is keeping your temperatures down. Whenever you're doing fine detail close to the bed, bed temperature is critical. So 
We're printing on glass. We still like to be 60 on our first layer, but we like to get down to about 55 or 50 after that. Um, and we want our filament to be, um, we want our filament to be as low as we can possibly print with it, safely print with it. And the reason why is because these little curved edges, if you're hot and sloppy, they're not gonna be pretty right here. Um, you all need any support on this. You just need to print slow. As far as your fan, it's really gonna depend on your ambient temperature on this inside your print area. Um, this is temperature critical, this print. So if you have a cold ambient, chop the fan down. So the covers, they get printed on ends like this, 100% solid and slow. Another little interesting caveat about these links is that a lot of people like to crimp their flow to get a nice pretty result. If you clip, crimp your flow on, the, on this chain system, on these links, this cover is not gonna fit tight. Now, if you're using a filament like eSun PLA, you can bend this a little bit without it breaking. Um, eSun PLA is very elastic. Um, and you can actually bend this in if you're careful, um, control your force as you do it. If not, you'll bend it too much and snap it off. The links are as followed, 28 for the X, 36 for the Y, 15 for the bed. This is the side bracket. This is the, basically your Y chain. Um, and this is another little pan about part. Lay it like this down on its face. Printed 100%. Um, I rounded this, so probably print it slow. You might want to go with the 0.12 on this or you're going to lose your rounded edges. They're not going to look as good. Okay, that wraps it up. One thing I just wanted to mention is that throughout the video, I was giving a number of 85 on the angle for supports. And I just want to point out that you can't trust Cura with those numbers. Sometimes between 80 and 90, um, it's just not consistent. Sometimes you'll set a 90 degree, you'll set at 85 and it doesn't build a support for a 90 degree angle. If you move it down to 84, it will. So when using uh, supports in Cura, especially in between that range of 80 to 90, I highly recommend doing a preview to make sure it's actually building the supports. All right, everybody, I appreciate your support and good luck. If you need me, I'm here.